I can be darn. Okay, I'm going to tell you one more story, another, another Niels Bohr story. So in uh, 1896, there was a guy, a, an astronomer at Harvard called Pickering. Pickering at Harvard, 1896. And um, he was studying the lines in starlight. And he attributed uh, to some of the spectra that he was getting, he said he was seeing atomic hydrogen in starlight. And then there was a, a fellow in London called Fowler. And Fowler, in 1912, reproduced the experiments in the laboratory. He put gas in a tube and got the same thing in, in the lab. So th this guy's at Harvard, okay, and the other guy's at London. Well, Bohr looks at this stuff, and he says, you guys are wrong. You guys are wrong. Your lines are off by a factor of 4x. You got the right series, but you got the wrong element. What you guys are looking at is helium plus. You're not looking at hydrogen. And you know from uh, goes a z squared. So the lines are going to be shifted by a factor of 4, because this z is equal to 2. So Fowler was a pompous ass. And he didn't like being called on his bad science. So he, he does a calculation, and he looks more carefully. And he says, Bohr, you're wrong. In fact, our lines are off by 4.0016. Now, <laughs> don't laugh. The reason is the spectroscopy was so precise that they could go to five significant figures. So Bohr says, hmm. And he goes back and he says, you know, we've been doing all these calculations with a one electron atom just neglecting the center. So he redoes the calculations for the entire Bohr model, including considerations of the mass of the nucleus and the mass of the electron in the form of the reduced mass. The reduced mass is, you're learning this in Right? It's the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals. And when he does that, he gets that the value of the line shift should be 4.00163. <laughs> so he says, you guys are wrong. It should be 4.0016. You got 4.0016. You idiots, you're looking at helium plus. That was Bohr. Did not want to get into an argument with Bohr. All right. Have a nice weekend.